So it's the reason why I stand on this stage and I'm coaching you guys. Because in real life, I'm actually a basketball coach. And I've had the privilege and honor to coach some of the best basketball players to come out of my state. But we always, always played the game as if we were losing. And we had a great team. So if we were winning by 20 at halftime, we'd go in the locker room and I would remind my players, don't get complacent, don't get comfortable. Nothing ever grows in comfort zones. You go out there and play the game like you're losing by 20. And I'm telling each and every one of you, no matter what level of success you achieve, like Les Brown say, you gotta stay hungry. You gotta be hungry. You gotta live life like you're losing by 20. I know, I know. Some of you actually are losing by 20. So you have to do everything to find a way to chop into that lead. Oh, life is beating you down. Life is full court pressing you and it's showing no mercy. You have to take small bites. They say, how do you eat an elephant? And your answer needs to be one bite at a time. So if you lose them by 20, you have to take it one day at a time because you're in survival mode because of the decisions and choices that you made. No, no, yeah, no. Each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of problems. So that didn't help. But keep it real. Keep it a buck. You made a whole bunch of poor decisions. And you took yourself from designing a lifestyle to living smack dab in survival mode. So now you got to eat that elephant one bite at a time. Do one thing today to set yourself up to take one step to climbing up out of that hole. I was down by 20 in my life too. It took me a long time to climb out of that hole. One day, do something. Next day, do something. Next day, do something. And before you know it, you're going to be living anyway. So if you're not doing anything to make your life better, just existing and asking for help here and asking for help there, and you're doing it over and over again, the time is going to pass. So why don't you get something for your pain? Get something out of your pain. Do something today. Do something tomorrow. Do something next week. Sit your butt down and come up with a plan. And don't just state it. Actually write down your plan. What is it that you do that comes easy to you and difficult to others? I promise you, life is relentless. Life will not stop pressuring you. Life will not stop trying to beat you down. It's up to you to put your dukes up and fight back. It's up to you to keep clawing and keep scratching until you emerge victorious. But you have to have a plan. You have to know what it is that you can do each and every day to put yourself in a position to win. You can be losing 28 to three in your Super Bowl of life like the New England Patriots were several years ago. And you can still come back and win if you just take small bites out of that elephant of your life each and every day. And understand it's gonna take a little bit of time. And don't let the setbacks beat you down. Don't let the failures break you. Stand tall in the face of it all. You are down by 20. But I promise you, if you do something starting right now and you be consistent with your plan, eventually you will climb up out of that hole like the groundhog and you will emerge victorious. Give yourself a chance. Come out of survival mode and put yourself in a position to design the lifestyle that you want to live in the future. You got this. Let's go. It's a great day to win.